Hey everyone, I'm Dale from Network 1901. <laughs> hey Dale, and hey everybody else. I am so excited to be working with Megan on this Star Wars Last Jedi Super Mega Theory collab. It's crazy, it's so big, it's two videos. It's gonna be awesome. We have so many ideas and we hope you like at least one of them. Let's jump right in with Ray's parents. We had the big, ungratifying reveal at the end of The Last Jedi that Ray's parents were actually some nobody randos, and they had absolutely no significance to the story. But can they really be nobody? I mean, we had all these different plot points building up through The Force Awakens, and The Last Jedi just came in and went, nope, 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 nope. Not that one either. And it really kind of stole a lot of the viewer's sense as to what was going on in the movie. Now, I'm not saying that I didn't like The Last Jedi. Actually, I adore quite a bit of it. But to spend all this time to set up all these different issues just to let every single one of them fall flat, that really leaves a lot of us feeling unsatisfied and confused. And the explanation of Ray's parents is no exception here because now we have no more dots to connect to explain why Ray is so powerful. And if Ray knew all all along, then why couldn't Snoke use that to manipulate her and pull her closer to the dark side? Having nobody parents was very impactful for her, but he didn't really reveal it. He let her discover it herself. So again, can Ray's ties to the franchise really be random? Well, let's stop and think for a second about Kylo Ren, who was pushing Ray to admit the truth about her parents. Did Kylo have any incentive to manipulate and lie to Ray here? And I think the answer is, duh, of course. How can Kylo Ren confirm anything about Ray's parents, except for maybe the time when he interacted with Ray in The Force Awakens? It's possible it's from that. It could be from their connection connection, but it seems like it would be more likely that it was from that time that he was using his Jedi mind trick on her uh, to, to read her mind. Snoke had just told her he'd been manipulating her, so why would the parents have to be real? Why couldn't that be a manipulation, a, a trick, a changed story, a quick edit to confuse her, to trick her? And that's what I would do if I had that power. Snoke went inside Rey's mind to find Luke's location. And Kylo Ren has also been inside Rey's mind. Those two people have those abilities. And it's a very strong ability. There's no reason why they couldn't suppress information and kind of change memories around to manipulate her and draw her to the dark side. Not even Darth Vader was that powerful with this ability. When he was interrogating Leia, he had to use a droid to get the information of where the rebel base was. I think a big reason that many of us cannot accept the answer to Ray's parents is because too many loose ends were wrapped up in episode, what are we now, eight? And unless episode nine is gonna break trilogy rules, we've got a lot more to cover in that movie. Aside for some smaller issues with the rebellion, the storyline between Kylo and Rey is really all we have left to resolve in episode nine. So to fill a movie that's likely gonna be over two hours in length, we're gonna need some twists and turns and plot twists, and there aren't a lot of those left now. So it all begs the question, and why does everyone else's background matter except for Ray's, who we're just supposed to accept is a nobody from nowhere? If Kylo Ren's lineage matters so much to who he is and who he will become, then it seems really unbalanced for Ray to be a nobody with no complicated or interesting backstory. I guess you could say that it's the Skywalker saga and Ben Solo's a Skywalker and so Ray doesn't need any connection to them, but maybe it's a little bit of a different connection that we weren't expecting. Star Wars is all about rhyming and reflection. The Last Jedi is The Empire Strikes Back and Luke is Yoda and Benicio Del Toro is Lando to a point. So the mirror scene is to reflect the cave scene on Dagobah. And when Ray asked to see her parents, if her parents were nobody drunkards, why didn't she just see nobody drunkards? She didn't. She saw herself. She saw herself through infinity. What else is infinity? The Force. So since The Last Jedi is highly paralleled with The Empire Strikes Back, doesn't that mean we should expect a deeper connection between Kylo and Rey? So many people have already joined the Raylo bandwagon, but... I'm not fully convinced that their connection is romantic. It could be, or it could evolve into that, but what I see are two people who have been largely isolated throughout their entire lives, and they're finally getting that bit of human connection that they've been longing for. Ultimately, I see them as kindred spirits over two characters who are quietly declaring their love for each other. And because that relationship status isn't very well defined, does that mean that we should expect something like 
like a twin reveal in episode nine. Great points, Megan. It is possible that Ray's a force child, just like Anakin Skywalker. Essentially, that would make Anakin and Ray brother and sister. And hey, can we talk about putting a pin in the Raylo art until episode nine premieres? Because while beautiful, that art is a big gamble. If Kylo and Ray do have some blood ties, I mean, there's stuff on the internet now that we're never gonna be able to unsee. And normally this is where I tell you, well, that's all I have for now, but this video is not over yet, except this video is really not over. There's a part two over on Network 1901's page. There should be a link appearing. If not, it's in the description below and please go check it out because we're not even close to done yet. Well, that's all I have for now, but this video's not quite over yet. I get a lot of comments that say, do a theory on this topic, but I've already done those theories. So please consider going to my main channel page and clicking on the video tab so that way you can see everything I've done. You will probably find a lot of things you like that you never even knew that I posted. I want to let you know that I also have two other channels, Say Halo Goodbye Gaming and The Family Family Vlogs. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed enough to hit subscribe and share. I can use all the help I can get to let other people know that this channel exists. And if you made it this far, leave me a comment that says something like, hey, I made it to the end. And then let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. I can't make any promises, but the more people that request something, the more I can look into it. Okay, well, I love you. I'll see you in the next video.